Okay, um, anyone good at the back? Okay, thank you. Uh, this is a beautiful city in the northeastern part of the USA. And um, 2003 of, of August 14 and 4 p.m., it went pitch black. There's a power outage, um, and, and um, it spread through the, the west, um, the midwestern part of the USA and some um, province of Ontario, Canada. So some of them um, uh, were restored after seven hours, some um, two days, and um, some uh, two weeks. Unfortunately, some died. Okay, so um, this is a air traffic uh, map that has been taken a few hours ago, like um, last last night. So if you could see it here, it's pretty um, congested, right? And at the same time, this is the maritime. Okay, so probably you might be asking in yourself that, hey, why are you showing this to us? Ladies and gentlemen, this is part of the industrial control system. And, um, and as you could really, um, if, if you're not um, realizing it yet, the danger is everywhere, at the air, at the sea, okay? And I would not go through some of the events that has um, already been in the history. So we are here uh, to face the future. So... And um, these are some of the incidents okay, that happened uh, before. And even in petrol chemical industry, right? So everything could go uh, wrong if anything, um, if, if cyber attack has been um, uh, breached on, on this uh, industry. Uh, transportation, right? So... Probably you already heard about the fire sale. Um, what's that movie? Still remember that? Uh, Die Hard, right, by Bruce Willis. So it's no longer a, a myth. It's no longer a hearsay, but it's already happening. And ladies and gentlemen, we're not just talking about the advanced persistent threats that most companies are worried about their reputation, their financial status, Welcome to the cyberkinetic attack that we called. And this is not just about money. This is life. That when people, your loved ones, are already six feet under, you cannot retrieve them by backup. There's no backup in life, right? And there's no equivalent to, to money, to, to life. So um, I would like to... Um, little educate here on the differences between uh, the IT and the OT, which is the industrial control system that we are talking about. They are not equal. They are overlapping on the availability, but it's very low uh, priority in, in, in the ICS, SCADA. Okay? So if we are familiar with the CIA triad, right? if you are uh, certified in, in some IT um, industry, mostly we, we talk about the confidentiality, the integrity, and the availability. But that's not um, happening in, in uh, not so much applicable in the industrial control system. In industrial control system, there's so, so-called an SRP. It's not the suggested retail price. But it's, it's the safety, the reliability, and the productivity. So imagine just a simple donut, right? Um, I'm not sure if you already went in, in some of... Um, uh, donut companies, it's all automated, okay? So there's no data there. It, no. So that's why availability is, is uh, availability of data is not much of importance in, in the industrial control system. It's the safety, reliability, and the productivity. So I'll be uh, talking about that later. And I will not go through one by one on this, but I would like to emphasize on the Availability, that's which I, I, I mentioned earlier. So in IT, it's medium to low, but it's in, in operational technology, it's high. 
Okay. Um, I'd like to, to answer some, uh, or I would like to build some defense in depth in the industrial control system uh, through threat modeling. So this is not in, a, this is not in, in alphabetical, this is random. Um, one of, of the most important in, in the industrial control system when you're implementing uh, defense in depth is the network segmentation, right? Uh, if I may say network segmentation, so what, what attack um, does network segmentation answer? Okay. Lateral movement, either from insider threat, okay, uh, when someone has got breach or stolen data or, or um, stolen password credentials, they could not do, they, they will be stopped when, when you have implemented the network segmentation. So, uh, either you have, if, if you are familiar with the Purdue model on the ISA 99, which I will be uh, showing later, uh, there are six layers of defense from the industrial control system physical devices to the IT environment. Okay. And, and I would say this is, this is on the fifth layer. So before, um, let's say for example, a malware, okay, or worm got, um, uh, has an outbreak in your company. So it will not, will, it will be stopped on, on the, uh, network segmentation because it's different, um, uh, layers, right? So it's, it's no longer, uh, in the IT environment. And, um, I would say physical security. It's one of the most important in, in, um, in the industrial control system. Let's say, for example, a data center, a typical data center, right? So from the gate itself, right? If, if you have this security, and um, before you could go inside, there should be like, okay, the security, what's, what's the policy on the security side? On the, I mean, not, not the IT security, but the security guards, right? So they should have the, the policy of, hey, um, why are you here? What are you doing in, in inside, right? Uh, do you have any, like, scrutinize them, simply, simply as that. And do you have any invitation? Do you have uh, a business here? Right? If no, then go back on the, on the next day. We, because we could not allow you to go, to go inside. Okay? And then if they're, if they're really invited, then someone, you could, you could, the security could ask, uh, the, the one who invited them. If it is a vendor, okay, uh, this is the, one of the problem in, in the industrial control system, uh, on the vendor side. Okay? They could just plug in their USB drive where now, I, I would not want to reiterate what happened to Stuxnet, but that's based on, on the, just on the USB drive, right, from the insider threat. So, uh, there should be a policy on the access, right, either physical access, I would say. And this answers the social engineering attack, impersonation, right? So, before they could go inside um, and, and do harm on your... Um, industrial control system. One of the problem is on the patching side. Who should do the patching? The firmware, let's say for example, WannaCry, right? Um, it has spread throughout the industrial control system and in the, in the uh, health industry because of unpatch. They're all running on old Windows unpatch uh, operating system. So who should do that one, right? It should be, it should be the control engineering, it should be the IT, or what's the policy? It, or it should be the vendor. We, we should do that. And, um, and probably you could have this, uh, SLA agreement or, or, uh, any policy in between you and, and your vendor support that if any zero day or CVE has been published in ICS cert or any, um, open source intelligence, they should act right away, not, not just one day, two days. It should be four hours if it is really, um, um, high impact, right? Visibility and control. We could not defend what we don't know, even in the IT industry. 
the sexier on, on the incident response side on the blue team is we should pro be proactive and 100% on what we're doing. While, as what they say, it's, it takes only one chance for the attackers, the adversaries to, uh, to uh, give us, a, to, to make us breach or, or any, uh, do harm on, on, on us. So, um, that one, let's say for example, 99%, you have the visibility and control of, of your networks, uh, your, your assets. So that 1% that it's not in your, uh, visibility and control, that is something, uh, the, the adversaries are just waiting for. Okay. And I should say there should be an alignment between the IT and the OT incident response. So the problem is the gap between the IT and the OT is IT doesn't have much knowledge on the industrial control system. Okay, they thought that ah, I'm a good penetration tester. I'm a good uh, uh, red teamer. So I, I could also do that one in in the industrial control system. No, it's not. Okay, remember the the SRP. It's not. We're not talking about the CIA triad here. We're talking about the 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 SRP. So once the system goes down, okay. Imagine the the power outbreak earlier. So just imagine. Uh, if that happens here in Singapore, just seven or one, one, just one day without power supply. No food, no nothing, right? No internet. So imagine life without electricity. And it's not a question of how. It's the question of when. Because everybody, everything is, is, um, available now. Okay. Uh, we have a free software. We could use Linux Samurai, Linux Framework. We could buy some uh, less than 200 US dollars. Uh, you know, I don't want to mention the 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 name uh, because I'm not uh, connected with them. But there's a lot of of uh, uh, gadgets that we could buy online and from. Okay, early this morning, um, we have we have talked about the dark web, dark net. So you could buy it there if you want. Right? And this is not a machine gun or something. This is a global positioning system, uh, jamming device. Okay? And, um, who knows if that's designed to, to, um, to breach or attack an aircraft. Okay? It, uh, okay. So let's talk about, um, some, some practical, uh, defense in depth. Okay, I, I'm not here to reinvent the wheel, but um, just just to reiterate and and uh, 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 make you understand that that everything is already uh, available. It's just we need to review and align our our um, best practices and and policies. So there is ISA 99 or uh, counterpart of IAC 62443, which I mentioned earlier, the network segmentations. Uh, talk, uh, research about the Purdue model, the six layers of, of, uh, defense, uh, in network. Okay. We have the NIST. If we have the NIST framework for the IT, there's also for the ICS, SCADA, right? Um, that's S special publish 800-82. Uh, we have for, for the IIoT, the Industrial Internet of Things. Okay. Um, for the nuclear um, regulatory, we have that one. Uh, for the grid, right? Um, I'm not sure if you're still familiar with the CMMI. Before, before this secure coding uh, was popularized, um, there was already a so-called capability maturity model industry, which which was organized by or formed by the Carnegie Mellon University and the SEI, the Software Engineering Institute. It has been already, um, since the e-commerce occurred uh, around 2000 ago, there was already the secure programming that we used to follow in web, right? This is called the CMMI uh, Capability Maturity Model. 
and the 5S. Does anyone of you working in a Japanese company? Or at least knows this one? Seiri, Seiton, Seiketsu, Shetsuke, Asuke, 5S. Basically, it means that uh, housekeeping, okay? Let's say, for example, in firewall, in ICS SCADA or operational technology, uh, the policy is deny all. That is the policy. If you still, does any one of you um, using Sun Solaris before? Sun Solaris operating system? Or you already know, that, uh, already forgot that one? You only know Linux, right? In, in Solaris is once you install that one, everything is black. If you need SSH, you need to open that manually, right? So it's something like this. It's a 5S. It's um, whitelisting of, instead of blacklisting software, we whitelist, okay? So you should have the checklist on that one. Okay, this one is legit. This one is legit. It's not like, okay, let's open everything and then let's filter what is not legit, and that's that's the other way around. Okay, so five S. Um, this is not much of the practical. The other one is practical because it's already already existing. You don't need much of of to expend money on that one, except the CMMI because it's like an ISO. Okay, uh, you need to to be um, uh, compliance with that. Okay, so this one is something expensive, I would say. Um, endpoint solution, right? If you're familiar with the two kinds of endpoint solution, we have an antivirus and the EDR solution. Uh, but be careful on, on selecting, selecting solutions for it's not one size fits all that we are using it. They're probably number one in the IT, but not in OT. Okay. Look for something, um, look for something matured enough in, in the in industrial control system, not in, not in OT, right? Uh, SIM, okay. Uh, I mentioned earlier the visibility and control. So this one is is um, would would give you or easier to to do a, a triage, right, on um, any incidents. Um, the sensor IDS IPS vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. This would answer. Uh, by the way, the CMMI also would answer the the question of. Um, bugs in firmware and software as well. So if we do, um, we're doing vulnerability assessment and penetration testing, uh, be careful on, it should not be uh, active, it should be on passive side, right? Red teaming, it's quite, um, red teaming is very useful in testing lateral movements and physical security, okay? So um, you should have either on the two penetration testing or red teaming, you should have the clear scope and limitation because remember the, the SRP triad in, in, in um, industrial control system. And um, CTI, um, cyber threat intelligence is important. Okay, uh, it's, it, it, it would give us a, um, it would give us a proactive approach on, on if we are targeted or not, or what are the zero day attack. And I would say you could use both the open source intelligence or subscribe in any of the um, known CTI uh, solutions. And the most important, I would say, is training, cybersecurity awareness, okay? awareness on IT and the OT side. So that is most important. And, and I would say human is still the weakest link, and we should patch human stupidity. Um, okay, um, just quick disclaimer. I think I'm open to uh, any question that you may have. Okay, Mike, thank you very much. Yeah. Are there any questions for the, from the audience? Okay, if there are no questions, then do keep in mind that Mike will be around more uh, during the coming days, so please do not hesitate to ask him anything that comes to mind.